Julius Wagner Jarig, the 7th of March 1857 to the 27th of September 1940, was an Austrian physician who won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1927 and is the second psychiatrist to have done so. His Nobel award was for his discovery of the therapeutic value of malaria inoculation in the treatment of dementia paralytica. Topic: Early life. Julius Wagner Jarig was born Julius Wagner on 7 March 1857 in Wells, Upper Austria, the son of Adolf Johann Wagner and Ludovica Jaurnig Ranzoni. His family name was changed to Wagner von Jarig when his father was given the title of Ritter von Jarig, a hereditary title of nobility in 1883 by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Hence he retained the name Julius Wagner Ritter von Jarig until 1918 when the empire was dissolved, and nobility was abolished. The family name was then contracted to Wagner Jarig. He attended the Schotten Gymnasium in Vienna before going on to study medicine at the University of Vienna from 1874 to 1880, where he also studied with Solomon Stricker in the Institute of General and Experimental Pathology. He obtained his doctorate in 1880 with the thesis. L'origine et la fonction du cœur axillaire. He left the institute in 1882. Topic: <inaudible> Later years. After leaving the clinic, he conducted laboratory experiments with animals, which was practiced very little at this time. From 1883 to 1887 he worked with Maximilian Liedesdorf in the psychiatric clinic, although his original training was not in the pathology of the nervous system. In 1889 he succeeded the famous Richard von Kraft Ebbing at the neuropsychiatric clinic of the University of Graz, and started his research on goiter, cretinism and iodine. In 1893 he became Extraordinary Professor of Psychiatry and Nervous Diseases, and Director of the Clinic for Psychiatry and Nervous Diseases in Vienna, as successor to Theodor Maynard. A student and assistant of Wagner Jarig during this time was Konstantin von Economo. Ten years later, in 1902, Wagner Jarig moved to the Psychiatric Clinic at the General Hospital and in 1911 he returned to his former post. Nobel Prize The main work pursued by Wagner Jarig throughout his life was related to the treatment of mental disease by inducing a fever, an approach known as pyrotherapy. In 1887 he investigated the effects of febrile diseases on psychoses, making use of ursipella and tuberculin discovered in 1890 by Robert Koch. Since these methods of treatment did not work very well, he tried in 1917 the inoculation of malaria parasites, which proved to be very successful in the case of dementia paralytica also called general paresis of the insane, caused by neurosyphilis, at that time a terminal disease. It had been observed that some who develop high fevers could be cured of syphilis. Thus, from 1917 to the mid-1940s, malaria induced by the least aggressive parasite, Plasmodium vivax, was used as treatment for tertiary syphilis because it produced prolonged and high fevers a form of pyrotherapy. This was considered an acceptable risk because the malaria could later be treated with quinine, which was available at that time. This discovery earned him the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1927. His main publication was a book titled Verhuting und Behandlung der progressiven Paralyse durch Impfmalaria Prevention and Treatment of Progressive Paralysis by Malaria Inoculation in the memorial volume of the Handbuch der Experimentellen Therapie, 1931. The technique was known as malaria therapy, however, it was dangerous, killing about 15% of patients, so it is no longer in use. Topic. Sex treatment for psychosis Wagner Jarig administered thyroid and ovarian preparations to young psychotic patients who had experienced delayed puberty, which led to the development of their secondary sexual characteristics and diminished psychosis. Other patients were deemed schizophrenic because of excessive masturbation, where Wagner Jarig sterilized them, resulting in an improved condition. Topic. Retirement In 1928, Wagner Jarig retired from his post but remained active and in good health until his death on 27 September 1940. 
In his retirement he published nearly 80 scientific papers. Many schools, roads and hospitals are named after him in Austria. <laughs> Nazi ideology and affiliation Towards his last days Wagner Jarig was influenced by Hitler's German nationalism, and became an anti-Semite and sympathizer of Nazism. Documentary evidence indicates that he supported the Nazi party shortly after the invasion of Austria in 1938 by Germany. However, a denazification commission in Austria found that his application for NSDAP membership had been refused. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 on grounds of race. As his first wife was Jewish, Wagner Jarig advocated a racial hygiene ideology called eugenics, influencing students such as Alexander Pilch, who went on to author a standard handbook on racial psychiatry critical of Jews for being prone to mental illness. He was also an advocate of forced sterilization of the mentally ill and criminal, having endorsed the concept in 1935 while a member of the Austrian Anthropological Society. He was president of the Austrian League for Racial Regeneration and Heredity, which advocated sterilization for those of inferior genetics. See also Wilhelm Reich References Further reading Magda Wittrow Julius Wagner Jarig 1857 to 1940 London Smith Gordon 1993 Neugebauer, Wolfgang Scholz Kurt Schwartz Peter HRSG Julius Wagner Jarig im Spannungsfeld politischer Ideen und Interessen eine Bestandsaufnahme Beatridge Day Workshops VOM 6 7 November 2006 I'm Wiener Rathaus Frankfurt M. Main U. A. Peter Lang, 2008 Wiener Vorlesungen, Forschungen, 3. Topic. External links Nobel Foundation, the 1927 Medicine and Physiology Award Nazi past